Hi guys. Hi guys. So today I wanted to speak on manifestation in the face of unbelief. And the realization is about how it's your responsibility on how much you believe in yourself. It's no one's responsibility. And I feel like I've said this in one of my videos. And here's the difference. People can believe in you, but no one can believe for you. If you do not believe for yourself, like uh, for example, in who you are becoming in the face of your purpose, it's really hard to even convince other people. So with that said, these are some of the points that I've written down and because I've realized a lot of people are getting angry at the wrong people for things not manifesting the way they're in their minds the way they've said it that it's supposed to manifest and here's uh, the difference whether you're in actually not the difference this is the similarity of manifestation God has created us so equally that we all carry uh, from the power of faith whatever you want to call it faith belief the power to manifest anything in life he has put it in all of us meaning that all of us we're it's active in all of us whether it's in a positive way or in a negative way whether it's consciously or not consciously so whether it's conscious or not or unconsciously yeah so here's the thing if you want to become anything in life it has to start from you like you have to believe in it like with your heart soul body spirit and mind it has to be so if how do i say this you have to be so certain about it in your spirit even if the circumstances around you don't support that belief because here's like the proof if you look at a lot of people who have made it in life no one like most of them they didn't have the resources to support their faith the belief of what they wanted to become and the thing that pushed them into being who they wanted to be was their belief the unlogical belief that they can become that nothing and no one can stop them from becoming what they've set their minds to be what they feel they've been created to be and the thing that people do wrongly in this situation whether it's people who are of faith or not of faith is putting the responsibility of belief and the manifestation of whatever they want on other people like let's say for example in a church setup people go to church you're prayed for you know you're first of all you're preached to you know in a normal setup when you're preached to which the preaching is more like someone speaking life to you someone speaking positive affirmations to you someone breaking the limits like mind and spiritual limits from you so that you can believe in whatever thing that you want to believe in then um so when that seed has been placed in your spirit you're prayed for and when you're prayed for a lot of people they believe in it there are some who don't so um so when they experience this spiritual um i don't know what to call it this spiritual you know if you're a spiritual person you get what i'm saying but for people who are not spiritual it's like i don't want to use the word hypnosis but it kind of feels like it's like an out of yeah it's like an out of body experience so most people in this situation they get um they get out of that whether it's a church or whatever spiritual mentorship they're in they get out feeling like for sure i've received whatever it was that i was supposed to receive whether it's a healing or hope and stuff like that so here's the plot twist these same people go home and 
Whatever it is they were prayed for, it doesn't seem like it's turning out how they expected it to turn out. Like you know, vavavum, like people expect stuff to happen like that. I'm not saying that is the wrong thing because if you believe in it, that's okay. But where people go wrong is whether it's your pastor or your parent or whoever it is who has planted that seed of hope, you go back home relying on them to believe for whatever you wanted. You get what I'm saying? So let's say if it's a healing, you rely on your pastor for that healing to stick like to happen to manifest when you're out of the um, church setup when i say church just applied to every every area it can be your parents it can be your friends it can be your environment your whatever it is your circle of belief the people who have planted those seeds of belief so when these things don't happen you start blaming these people but you know what the reality of stuff this thing is manifestation for any manifestation to happen it has you have to be the carrier of that faith you have to be the carrier of that belief you have to be the carrier of i know and i know and i know that i'm going to become no matter what and it's not supposed to be a reliance on other people other people are not supposed to carry the responsibility of believing in it for you because here's the funny thing a lot of people who believe in you who seem like they believe in you they don't really believe in the vision they just you know because it's sometimes it's just the right thing to do they they're there to support you to see how this thing will turn out but sometimes people even people who believe in you can't get the entire picture of what you want to become or who you're becoming or who you feel you're called to be so imagine putting that responsibility on even people who don't even know you like in a close setup like all of us because we've fallen uh, we've been in this situation all of us including myself it's a high time we realize that whatever is manifested it has to start with us it has to start with us believing no matter you have to have that unwavering belief that unwavering faith that you will become what you want to become that you will become what you like god has called you to become and it can't be placed on people to believe it for you it can't be placed on your parents no matter you know let's say it can't be placed on people who love you to believe for you you have to be the pioneer of whatever vision you have you have to be the pioneer of whatever outcome you want to see and it has to start from you because if you do not believe in what you want how do you expect other people to believe in that same thing like it's not even reasonable it's not fair to expect it of people and there is no greater feeling like um, believing in something in a place or circumstance that that thing was not um, the possibility of it happening was zero like it was nil and then it happens it makes you it's like it challenges what you believe in to rise up high to elevate what you believe in so let's say if you believed in um, if you believed in getting a book and and let's say the book is the thing that you cannot afford you cannot reach it's the impossibility it's the impossible circumstance and then when you believe in it stuff happens maybe you get money to buy the book or someone sends it to you or you go to a library and you find the book when you find the book because that's like the display of manifestation from then on the next thing you will want you will want it from a place of knowing this is possible you get so it's like whatever you believe in every time it manifests it uplifts you it elevates your standard of belief so not all of us are on the same level of belief that is my point so whatever 
uh, standard of belief or whatever level of belief you're in other people are on different levels there could be people who are on a higher standard of belief than you there are people who are on a lower standard of belief than you there are some who are on the same level so imagine you're speaking to people who are on a lower level of belief or on the same level of belief the same things you struggle with or you struggled with they're struggling with the same thing and you're expecting these same people to carry that same weight for you in a very clarified and very certain way you know sometimes when you're surrounded by people and this is why that it's better far better to stick with people who believe far better than you people who are not people who are not wavered in what they believe in because it challenges you to rise higher to believe in what you want higher even when you're in doubt because you know everyone i think everyone struggles with doubt correct me if i'm wrong but i think all of us we we struggle with doubt but what you do in that phase of doubt is what determines whether you will get to where you're getting to and i know there are times when you feel like for me personally i've experienced times when i believe in so much that i'm like am i am i asking for too much or is this like unlogically too high of a standard for me to set for myself and then i'm like if today was the end of my life and i asked that same question myself if god let's say asked me that question i think i would rise up every day and believe in the most unlogical things with that second chance of living and i would work hard to get to those things and i would work hard not yeah i would work hard to train myself to believe without wavering faith without wavering belief that i will get what what that thing is so thinking about it i think it's important for people to think from a place of this will be the end of your life what like are you really truly living the life you want even in the situation where you're in even in the circumstance you're at because if you keep focusing on what you don't have you will never become anything people will uh, and if you listen to what the uh, people's perception of possibilities most of the time people's perception of possibilities is boxed in it's so limited it's so small because they have experienced disappointments they have experienced failure they have not achieved what they wanted to achieve and they uh, what is it called they put those same burdens on you of you cannot become because they did not become and everyone does this you know even the closest people to us even when they do not mean uh even when they do not have the wrong intention about it even when they want the best for us what we believe in it's so different from what they believed in so to give someone a picture of uh, believing in something that did not work for them in their situation and placing it on yourself for them you place it you place yours on them to believe in yours okay I don't know what I'm saying like unapatia watu like your responsibility ya kubebea vision yako now wow, how work ways are out that is what i'm trying to say basically what i'm saying is it has to be up to you to believe in whatever you're believing in it it has to be up to you who works hard in your faith in your belief in your meditation to get to what you want you can't place it on people and you can't be angry at people for not believing in what you believe in because it's not it's not their vision it's not their weight that's yours alone you know and even if it influences other people it's still yours to carry you're the one who has birthed it you're the one who has the seed of it so to expect uh, someone who is supposed to be like the branch to be the root is not reasonable it has to be you who carries the weight it has to be you who digs in the dirt to plant that seed because a lot of people come when um 
the cup plant is shooting above the, above the ground when it has its roots um, attached to the soil when it has when it knows how to nourish itself you get so for you your vision is like you have to dig you have to find the land where you have to you have to find land with good soil you know land that has the convenient it has the elements of um, helping your seed grow so that means you're the one who is finding you're the one who has to gauge is is my seed going to plant in this type of environment you're the one who has to gauge um, the tools you need to dig before you even start digging you're the one who has to dig and know to what level of digging you need to do and it's also your responsibility to know um, this is where I placed the seed this is where I covered it with soil and this is how I'm going to water it you get what I'm saying because if you do not you will live your life so disappointed so limited because everyone's standard of possibility is different everyone's standard of disappointment is different so for you to get to what you want you have to be the one who believes in it the most you get and that is why um, when it comes to like you get to a situation where you have to change you feel like in your spirit you have to change the people you surround yourself with the environment you're in if it's possible because not everyone has the privilege of changing the environment it's important that if you can change these things when you feel like you need to change it it's important for you to change it you know if it encourages the uh, activation of your vision you get or the activation of your healing because for some people um, the manifestation is about who they become like in their personality their character in the breaking of um, what is it called like cycles and patterns that have been going down in their families or whether it's in like their society you get so basically what I'm saying is carry the weight of your vision carry the weight of your faith carry the weight of your belief don't go around expecting people to carry things for you that is supposed to be you who is the carrier of them so yeah that is what i wanted to say and for anyone who is believing like you do not have a circle of people who at least have a standard of meditation of belief of faith of of what you would want to have you know just Pray to God and to give you that type of circle, you know, those type of people who, even if they are not perfect, they have a similar, if not the same vision as you, who have a, a very unwavering faith or belief or target of who they want to be or where they want to be. And if you do not have it, you know, as I say, like you always attract who you are. So that means that if you change things in you, you will find that, that automatically people are attracted. The people who have the same mindset as you, who have the same spirit as you, they start getting attracted to you. They are pulled towards you. And don't, don't ever expect perfection from people because that's not real. I'm not perfect, no one is perfect, only God is perfect. And if like, share, subscribe.